Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very sunny and pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. It's your 11 a.m. update. We begin our day with a mixed bag out there. That mix goes like this. The Dow's off 19 points. S&P is down less than a buck. NASDAQ's up 23. Semis are up 51. Russell's off three. New York Stock Exchange down 38. You've got gold getting dumped. It's down 33 bucks, trading out at 23.92. Silver, a bigger dump, 57 pennies, nearly 2% there. That's trading out at 31.50. Light three crude is off 50 cents, trading out at 79.26. Natural gas up four pennies 30-year treasury basically flat print out at 117.15 let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart we begin with the es mini upper left hand side what do we know about it well You've got a TD9 count top on a daily time frame that is still in place out there. By the way, the weekly chart last week negated its top out there. If we get a close above 53.49, the S&P 500 should continue to move higher. you got that spot volatility that is still trading below its 50-day exponential moving average, and that provides buyers with an edge. That edge, though, says you've got a close above 53.49. The NQ trading at a new all-time high as we speak right now, and uh, it's uh, got an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. It needs a bearish reversal candle to confirm a sell the D point pattern. Short of that, price will likely go target 19.057. That would be the one to two A to B equal CD pattern to the upside. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it has an A to B equal CD pattern to the downside. It did find support at the, uh, buy, at the buy zone of its weekly profile. And since then, we've seen a series of higher lows out there with price finding resistance right now at the bottom of its daily profile. The key level to watch here for the U.S. dollar index would be 104 97, the center of that profile. That's where counter trend rallies would be either at the bottom right now, which is at uh, 103.85, or could be or should be up at the 104.09 level. Now, if price closed above 104.09, that tells us the U.S. dollar index should get ready to move up to the 105.47 area. Gold trading lower trading with inside its profile that profile's got support at the 23 i'm sorry 23 17 50 level and resistance 24 20 40 silver's in an a to b equal cd pattern to the upside but we're going to have to take a look at its charts because it may be forming a, a rose momentum indicator uh, top today so we'll look at that during the trader's edge show light sweet crude just traded in between trend line support and trend line resistance out there so much for dumping a million barrels of gasoline try to bring oil prices lower doesn't seem to be working take a look at natural gas it's got a new profile it's attempting to form support down at 274 resistance up at 295 and at 30 year treasury it's still in an a to b equal cd pattern the upside 120 is the uh, price target folks stay tuned for the trade set go if you would but if you're off to start for wednesday please have a wonderful one thanks for joining us we look forward to speaking again soon take care in the